Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Toffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome to the uh, coffee mug tutorials. So this is a follow-up video on the dimensions uh, that I did just recently. Uh, there I explained how to set up dimensions for coffee regions and how that posts and how we can use analysis views to um, take a look at the breakdown. And I'm actually going to uh, keep going with that and show you how to create a budget and in, in NAV uh, that is based on dimensions. Um, I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit because I haven't shown you how to do budgets based on GLs, which is the standard way. But dimensions are just a lot more fun than GLs, so um, I'm gonna just take the liberty and show that. Uh, yes, so anyways, let's go into that. Now what I had done before, if I go into dimensions, just to recap, I created a new dimension called coffee region right here. And the values are the regions of the world where coffee comes from. And then I posted a transaction or a sales order that generated sales. And I set up analysis views to um, to view that. So here we go, analysis by dimensions, sales revenue, and you can see one of the dimensions here is coffee region. If I go to edit analysis views, I want to just see things in the year 17. Again, we are in the future. It's nice in the future. Uh, and I look at this, whoops. I want to see the lines as coffee region period uh, is as columns, which is fine. Show the matrix, and now I can see that in January I had sales of Mexican, Colombian, and Hawaiian coffee, um, and that's really the only thing that has happened. Now, I was trying to show also in previous demo, I think I sort of failed on that, is uh, the customer group. So I can show as columns another dimension. I had business group, which we didn't have any data for, but I added customer group. So it has been, uh, we've created some values for customer groups and assigned that to the customers. And I hit OK and I show the matrix here. Now I'm no longer looking at period. I'm looking at customer groups and now looking at the origin for the coffee. Now I get no data here. Why? Uh, this thing tends to reset my date. So just a little new ones. 12, 31, 17. Look at that. See, now we have data. Uh, yeah, so you just keep your eyes open for all these little parameters. Uh, if you're not getting data into your uh, matrix, it's probably because of some filters uh, that are either incorrectly set or automatically set to something um, that you might not want. The reason why the filter jumped into February 2017 is that's where I have my work date. Um, and, but that can be easily fixed just by entering the filter there. All right, so now, when you ask a sales department to do a budget, uh, you can't hand them the GLs and tell them to budget the GLs because they don't care about GLs. Uh, so what you would want to do is give them a list like this. All right, tell me how much you're going to sell um, of what type of coffee to what type of customers. Uh, that might be uh, something they could fill out. 
and they could of course take a look at last year etc but what I'm right now gonna do is just very preliminary put in a few numbers and into this matrix as budgets and that's the fantastic thing about dimensions is that you can budget them so what I'm gonna do is go into budgets Again, I'm jumping the gun a little bit because I'm not going to do a GL budget. I'm just going to do a dimension budget. But that is done in the same way as GL budgets. So I just go in here. Uh, I go into my GL budgets. I'm going to create a new one for 2017. 2017 budget. And notice I have budget dimension. So I'm going to just pick the coffee region dimension. Um, okay, so in this case, it's telling me, hey, it's a global dimension. You're going to get it anyways. So you don't need to specify it here. That's fine. So I'll just take that out. Let me just make sure that my customer group is in there. That's not a global dimension, so it's going to want to see that. So in these budgets, um, fix this. You're always going to get the global dimensions, and I mentioned what the global dimensions are in previous demo. Uh, and then you add on more dimensions, um, the shortcut dimensions, or even further dimensions uh, in these columns here. And you can have four additional dimensions. Uh, then I just go into Edit Budget. Now, it's sort of important here you have to know GLs. <laughs> you can't get away with not knowing what GL is, even though you're budgeting by dimension, because ultimately this will hit a GL. So uh, what we're going to do is take a look at the GL here. This is the standard GL. And I am just going to budget one GL account. It's the revenue account. So I have revenue. And I have something called sales, a raw sales or retail, this one. I just want to budget this one. Okay, so how do I do that? This is 44,100. I'm just going to copy that here. And I have something called filters down here. And I'm going to just filter that one. Now I'm only looking at that. All right. Uh, let me just see here. I hit previous column here to get January 2017 because I'm just going to budget January and February for argument's sake. Um, and show us lines. Now that I've fixed GL, what I want to see as lines is not GL accounts, but coffee region. Voila. And as columns, um, maybe for now I'm just going to do the periods. Okay, so let me just close this out, close this out, so I have more space here. And in January, what we're going to do, and remember, uh, sales are negative, they are credits, so I have to use negative. We're going to do 10,000 in Costa Rica, 5,000 Guatemala, uh, Brazil, 7,000 Colombia, 15,000, uh, Ethiopian, maybe 7,000, some Kenyan, 900, and Hawaii, 6,000, and we're going to have a sale on Jamaican coffee, so we're going to probably do 19,000 here. Uh, and the other ones we haven't started carrying yet, so I'm going to leave them at zero. Okay, so I now budgeted how much we're going to sell of each category for January. All right. I could actually export this to Excel, um, do the numbers there, and import back from Excel. That's not the scope of this, but um, I could do that. All right, now, so when we're done. And what I want to do now is go back to my analysis views and take a look at that. Well, this is by dimensions, sales revenue. If I just hit edit here, I can see that it, it, it is including budgets. I'm just going to update it 
It's wise to have it updated regularly. I actually have it set to update on posting, so whenever I post, it gets updated. These things generate transactions in the background to maintain the integrity, so it's always good to make sure that it's updated before you take a look at the numbers. All right. So now I hit uh, Edit Analysis Views. And what do I want to show as lines? I want to see the uh, coffee region as lines column period. Let me just make sure I'm in the right date again. 12.31.17. I am only looking at the revenue and I'm going to show here the actual just so you can see. Let me just copy this because this is probably going to get wiped out. Show the matrix. Now we have what we had before. S sales in Colombia, sales in Mexico, sales in Hawaii. If I go back out and I can change to show budget. Okay, show me the budget. Hit matrix. Now I see the budget that I just keyed in. All right, notice that it's coming in positive. Why is that? Because I have it set to show the opposite sign here. All right, now I can actually go ahead and say, well, show me the variance. If I look at this, now I see, well, I'm under 10,000 in Costa Rica, I'm under 5,000 in Guatemala. Actually, I'm ahead in Mexico, because we didn't budget anything for Mexico. Colombia, I still have 11,500 to go, 7,000, etc. I can actually look at variance by percentage. And then I'm 100% off here. But I'm, only, I'm getting there on this one, on Colombia, etc. And that's how you tie the budgets into analysis views in an AV.